What's up you guys, Eric Q from the Anabolic Aliens. Today we're here to do a nutrition video and today we're gonna to talk about grocery shopping and how you should grocery shop to fit your meal prep. But before we get into the video guys, make sure to head on over to our website at anabolicaliens.com and make sure you get on our mailing list for all of our exclusive promotions and to be notified when that app finally launches because I know you guys are all waiting for it. So back to the video guys. As you can see, we set up right here, we have meals. And the reason why I put six meals here is because this is how we wanna optimally do it. Let's say someone has a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a snack, a dinner, and then a snack. And that's just the way we're gonna do it for this video. You don't have to eat six meals, but this is for the video. So let's talk about how to shop, guys. When you first go to the grocery store, the first thing you wanna look for is the protein sources. And now your protein sources are very important and you wanna make sure you have a little bit of variety in them. And the reason why we're doing this is because when you first wake up in the morning, the last thing you might wanna eat is some chicken breast. So we're gonna assume the first thing you're going to eat is maybe some eggs or some egg whites. Now for the rest of the day guys, now we have eggs right there as meal number one, you want to make sure you have some variety as well. So for meal number two, we could do some chicken breast and maybe we could do some lean beef. And those are our protein sources. Um, those are just some examples, guys, but you want to make sure you have some variety throughout the day or else you're going to get sick of eating the same food over and over again. So for the amount of protein sources that you should be shopping for, guys, it sits right around three as a bare minimum. So we're going to write three plus sources there because you want to make sure you have some variety throughout the day. So let's say you have eggs. You do the chicken breast, okay? Chicken breast. You get lean beef. Let's say you splurge, go crazy at the grocery store. Now you have some lean turkey, so turkey breasts, for example, and then maybe you wanna have some sort of egg white shake later on in the day, and even a protein powder as a supplement, as a snack before you go to bed, for example, guys. So again, three as a bare minimum for, minimum for the protein. So now let's get into the carbohydrate sources. Now you gotta understand one thing about carbohydrate sources is that protein sources are pretty expensive and you guys know that if you've done if you've done your own shopping if mom and dad are doing it for you so you understand that they're very expensive but carb sources are not as expensive they're not as bad so we can afford to eat more of them okay so what we can do here is have a little bit of flexibility but the carbohydrate sources we want to make sure that they're quality that's the most important thing so again guys that's sticking to our whole grains okay we're sticking to our um, brown rice, sweet potatoes, and then guys, a separate category here, we have our carbohydrates, we have our vegetables, okay, these high uh, carbohydrate vegetables, such as beans, or even most fruits, which are actually good carbs, and they're not just loaded with sugar, okay? They are loaded with what we call, again, in this video you've heard a million times on the channel, is your micronutrients, and we wanna make sure we don't forget these on our meal prep, and we also wanna have plenty of variety when it comes to these. We, want, we do not wanna be eating the same ones all the time because you might be missing out on a key nutrient that you're not getting for the rest of the diet, and we do not want any deficiencies, okay, guys? So back to the carbohydrate sources. Obviously, these are much cheaper. A pound of chicken breast can cost you $4, but how much does it cost you for an entire loaf of bread? It's probably cheaper. And the reason why we're gonna eat more of these guys is because we want variety. So the protein is the foundation of the meal and then we add in the, uh, the carbohydrate source afterwards. So with our eggs, we might wanna have some bread, so that whole grain bread. That chicken breast, we might wanna have some rice. And we can actually do brown rice or white rice. Both have their benefits in the diet, so make sure you get both in the diet. For your lean beef, maybe you wanna have some beans. And then you can fill in the rest of the day with some variety. So here, guys, the carbohydrates, I would double up, actually, and I'd go about six plus. That way you never get sick of eating the same thing. And make sure you mix up your meals. The next category right here, we have our fat. And the thing, the reason why I left fat kind of last on this list, guys, is because you can get your fat throughout the diet with your protein sources. So understand that when you eat your eggs, you're going to get some fats. When you eat some chicken, if you're not eating the chicken breast, you're going to get some fat. If you eat some beef and it's not super lean, you're gonna get some saturated fat. But we can get some healthy fats with our protein source by eating things like omega-3 fatty 
acids. So those omega-3 fatty acids can come from a variety of things, mostly your fatty fish. So salmon, swordfish, etc. You can get your omega-3 fatty acids from that. You can also get some omegas from uh, things like flaxseed. So make sure you have some variety with your fats. Although, guys, if you're eating super clean, so let's say you're eating egg whites in the morning instead of regular eggs, and you have your bread, there's gonna be virtually no fat in that meal. If you do chicken breast and you do rice, you're going to have virtually no fat in that meal. Even if you add in your vegetables, most vegetables are very low fat with the exception of certain ones, obviously, but very low in fat. So you need to make sure you supplement, I call it a supplement, it's not really a supplement, maybe some oils in there like olive or coconut or canola, some sort of fat, that way you make sure you hit your goal. Because again, guys, with fat, we wanna stick right around 20 to 30% of the total calories in the diet. That way it helps with our hormone levels, which we do not want to get low when we're trying to build some muscle or maintain our muscle. So guys, it's important that you also circle in those vegetables and fruits into the diet. You can't just be eating you know, for your macros. You have to be getting those micronutrients. They're very important, guys, not something to neglect. And obviously you wanna drink a ton of water, which you can get from your sink, guys, unless it's like poison or something like that, because then you have a problem. But anyways, guys, I know this is a lot to think about in the video, but my point is, in the fats, guys, you want some variety. I just want get, to get back to that, so maybe a couple, but understand that if you get some from your protein source, they count as a source, but I would do as a bare minimum three plus just to have some variety. It's very easy to get some different kind of oils in there. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked the video, it's uh, best that you give it a thumbs up. And I just want to let you know, guys, that you want to have some variety here. Three protein sources as a bare minimum. Six plus carbohydrate sources. They actually last longer too, guys, so you can keep them around for much longer periods of time than your protein sources. Your fat sources will last a very long time as well, but I do recommend having at least three on hand. And then as many fruits and vegetables as you please, as long as they don't expire. So just be smart with the amount you consume. But get at least, let's say, Oh, maybe like six plus, just like the carbohydrate sources of the fruits and the vegetables in your diet. So make sure you like the video, guys. Comment down below if you like this type of video, if you want to see more whiteboard videos. I know this is a lot, but it's actually not. And if you guys need help with any coaching, anything like that, go to our website, anabolicaliens.com. Make sure you sign up. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.